Hi guys and welcome back to one of my videos this time it's a kind of new video I'm going to make using usually I never make the opening box videos about other people work and uh, uh, in this case I think it's something extremely special for uh, any lover of uh, planes and in particular for Italian Air Force planes and uh, this is a very rare subject this is the G91 Yankee it was the twin engine version of the G91. It was a plane used only by the Italian Air Force. And I'm going to open the box and uh, to make an analysis about what's, uh, what's inside. A uh, little note about this model. This is a full racing kit. So differently from my uh, G91T uh, conversion in 148 scale, for this model it is not requested to use a donor kit coming from uh, an AC uh, Italeri Occidental G91 single seater, you know. And uh, this little company, ADV, it is the acronym of uh, Andrea De Vincenti, this is a guy from Roma making this uh, uh, model. And uh, uh, it's a model that I think have been released three years ago. Mm, currently, now we are in 2020 when I'm making this video. And uh, this model has been made, I guess, around 2017. And in the first batch, I was a little, you know, uh, thinking about the, 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 the item because I was not, was not so convinced, I was not so interested at the time for, for this model. And then it happened that I see it disappear from the market and it became a kind of uh, uh, pearl, you know, to find around. And the price became incredibly much more expensive. Then recently, when I was selling my T version, one of the guys that took the plane told me that this uh, Andrea was making again this kit. Uh, in a, I think in a short range or probably just under request because I had to wait uh, some months to have my box and finally I get it so I hope uh, to make a nice video where I can uh, present you what's inside the box the box is quite nicely done you see the, 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 the picture is uh, very aggressive uh, showing probably uh, lay Italian landscape the, the plane was just an Italian plane so never been used by other countries differently from my twin seater this was just Italian subject you know and um, uh, the picture of the box is extremely nice the, the box is really steady it's uh, really well done you can find also a profile in color you know about the Yankee there is in one side the Yankee used in Cervia uh, uh, by the by the Italian Air Force and the, and the other picture is about the one with the uh, shark mouth in the in the front uh, used in Brindis in 1984 and inside the box here we go we find the really well done and sealed I check if the camera is in the proper condition because you know making the videos alone is sometimes it's messy I think it's quite okay up there so uh, inside the box you will find uh, uh, the, the the logo of the company that means uh, probably my my idea means that uh, the guy checked all the parts before he posted the item so it means that it is uh, absolutely warranted that all the parts are inside and uh, inside the parts uh, inside the, the first box that I cross it is about this little one this is a little metal part and it is uh, uh, providing the main landing gear and uh, a, a small a small batch of uh, photo actual part I think it's for something around the wings uh, for the islands and so on and the small uh, in, probably a small uh, uh, extra detail for this version for uh, the, 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 the decal sheet provided inside and uh, the model is casted in a very nice uh, gray resin uh, it's resin I cannot understand the, the, the type of the resin and, but it's look very 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 good in quality and uh, uh, the parts you see usually when I take this model I, I start to clean from the big brick uh, that just take weight and space inside the box and I don't like it at all uh, you have a lot of very very little details and uh, very well well cast you know there is no bubbles there is no wrinkles the parts are completely uh, well done well casted also uh, just I noted that probably for his process of casting he have the necessity to maintain this big line of material that have to be tried this is uh, because this is in a way part of the resin that is surely pricey for the producer to make it but probably it was their way to avoid to have wrinkles and to avoid to have bubbles inside this kind of molds uh, this is probably the, 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 the biggest bag of detail that you will find inside it you know very very nicely done details uh, not something impossible that you can do by your own but it's always better when the provider when, when the producer provide the stuff ready done 
the second box, the second envelope is about a full tanker. All the plane is similar to the single seater, but uh, um, became completely another different plane, you know. The frame of uh, the canopy is provided in uh, resin. This is very brick, very big brick that you have to cut it away. It can be quite sensitive and very easy to break. Uh, very nice detail about the wheel bay, all the wheel bay, the front one, the main wheel bay and the front one as well as you can find the main hub for the cockpit that is casted in a very nice quality uh, grey and the only part that I didn't like it so much in this casting was about the, the seat uh, the, the G91 should have a Martin Baker MK6 and it is uh, probably casted in a way that uh, it's losing a little detail so I will probably change with something different that I already have in resin and uh, the final part that is the most important it is this is the sealed canopy you know um, really well done, I will put them now. A very nicely done uh, canopy. It is, I think, is exactly in the same way of my T version. You know, I provided a couple of them probably for. Uh, uh, avoiding mistake and uh, because probably one is uh, casted better than the other I see exactly the same issues that I can have in my one that is basically no issue so it's absolutely extremely good in quality you know once you paint it with the frame separated and so on this will become absolutely really well done and uh, it's also provided inside this uh, very useful uh, little plastic that provide from any scratch the, the, the transparent parts and uh, uh, here it comes the most important part of the kit, you know, it is the wings. Uh, honestly, uh, this plane have uh, quite a different uh, from the single seater panel line. The, the, the wing is a little different too. All the plane is completely different. It's any, still anyway a G91, but it is nearly nothing in common with the single seater, you know. And also the small details inside the uh, uh, main landing jib bay is very well done. And he also provide part for the ailerons that is always scenographic like I did in my T to make the finished model with this part folder down like in the parking position and he also had the slat in the external part of the wind that can be assembled in the open head position so probably all that photo etching part I guess I still didn't check properly the instruction but I think it should be the arms for this structure to go down you know like in the F14 Tomcat provided by uh, as a gava back in time it was absolutely scenographic detail you know also this casted in a very high quality resin there is nearly no bubbles at all you know extremely well done transparent and uh, the final part it is this it is the most important part of course of the plane so is the fuselage they are provided in two halves and uh, when I made my fuselage about the twin seater, I didn't want to make this because I didn't like the idea to have this final part and can be always a little problematic when you have to keep it in shape because this part had to be centered over the surface and became completely flat and precise and then glue it together when you have the cockpit placed in position, you know. And the alignment with the uh, rear tail can be problematic because every time, even more in a resin model, you have to check that all the proportion and positions are respected, you know. But I think it's no major issue because anyway the quality is, the resin is extremely thin. He also played correctly a logo inside, also I should do for my one when I, uh, when I, when I sell them. But I didn't have the time to uh, make this logo also in mind, I will do probably in the future. And uh, the detail is uh, very, very finely done. Uh, you probably cannot see from the telephone but it is uh, full of small uh, engraved lines you know and that probably uh, you have a little to make a little more heavy to make them uh, uh, resist to the primer and the, and the sanding that surely a resin model will have and the last uh, the last part is about uh, the nice decal sheet of course the G91 Y has uh, uh, different uh, symbols and logo. They are quietly uh, well done, uh, quietly nicely. I mean, uh, uh, printed and well done. They don't look like a single uh, layer. Uh, they call it. I think they are completely cut, you know. And uh, probably it was better for him 
to place this I made it by myself a little bag to protect anyway from any scratches the same way of the in the same way of the transparent cockpit you know and uh, it's anyway excellent in details and so on so I think it's absolutely well taken also the color of the Italian flag the green the red usually this is problematic areas when you take short run models you know final part quite excellent also because also this requires a lot of work a complete model requires uh, usually a, a instruction sheet and he made it Andrea made it in an excellent way and uh, with all the parts you know is uh, like the last Italeri Tamiya Zegava model with the part and, uh, extremely well detailed and explained uh, also in colors and so on this is stuff that looks uh, I also made it the throttle for the F104 uh, also the indication for the guide for the color you know with the federal standard so I don't think he provide uh, uh, the color of any manufacturer but just the federal standard you know about the color well uh, that's all I think is absolutely a, uh, a must to have if you are uh, uh, loving the Italian Air Force uh, and uh, this is a lovely plane and the price for this was about uh, 120 130 euros something like that it was something cheaper in 2017 but I understand that with in the increasing of the cost and the production of today can be a little more price and it is absolutely worth it you know and uh, I absolutely suggest anybody liking this special extremely rare unique plane to achieve it in your own collection I hope that Andrea the company is ADV so Andrea De Vincentis on the box you find also the email where to order it adv.models at libero.it and uh, extremely kindly guys and I think it's absolutely a, a good deal uh, around this super nice and unique item thanks for watching guys see you in the next video